I'm Taylor Hutchison, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and work with declaration files in TypeScript. Declaration files are used when you have some existing JavaScript code that you want to incorporate into TypeScript so you can take advantage of type checking. So I have this library.js file right here, and I've got my geometry object and a couple of constructors for points and lines, and then a couple of functions to calculate the distance and the slope. And if I wanted to use this in um, a project, I would just include the source file. And then I would say something like create a couple of points, use those points to create a line and then calculate the distance and the slope and then output it to the console. But what if I wanted to use this in TypeScript? So let's go ahead and take this out. We'll create a new TypeScript file. And we'll just call it main. If I were to compile this, the compiler will give me some errors because it has no idea what this geometry object is. It doesn't know anything about it because we haven't said anything about it in TypeScript. It doesn't know the type. It doesn't know anything. So the easiest way to get rid of this would just be to write declare var geometry. What this tells TypeScript is that there's something out there called geometry. Um, because you haven't given it any type information, like a number or, or an interface or anything like that, it just... It doesn't know, it just thinks it could be anything. So this will work and this will get rid of your errors, but it's not the purpose of TypeScript. We use TypeScript because we want to do type checking. So let's go ahead and take this out and we're gonna create another file, another TypeScript file. And usually I just name this whatever the original source file was, so library.js, so I'm gonna call this library. And then it's instead of just .ts, it's .d.ts, right? And the D stands for declaration. So when you're writing your declaration files, you have a lot of leeway. And you sometimes just want to model the uh, basic structure of the JavaScript that, that you're going off of. And so everything is stored in this geometry object. So this is probably a really good chance for us to use uh, the module aspect of TypeScript. So what we do is we write declare module and then I usually uh, put M, a capital M on the front of my modules, but you can really name it whatever you want. Okay, so now we have a module named M Geometry. And let's add an interface and we have to export our interfaces if we want to use them. So we'll export interface and then we'll call it main. It doesn't matter what you really call it, and I'll show you why at the end. So main has a point type, and we'll say it's of that, and has a line. And you'll notice on these interfaces, I haven't written them yet, uh, but I'm not appending a capital or prepending a capital I to the beginning like you would if you were in C sharp or something like that. This is just kind of part of the culture of TypeScript. Interfaces don't really have this capital I. You can if you want, but uh, most people don't. And then we have a distance function, which takes a line and it outputs a number. And then we have a slope function, which also takes a line. And it, it doesn't quite return um, anything we've declared yet. If you go back, you notice it returns a literal with a numerator and a denominator property. So let's just call this fraction. Okay. So now we've said what our main, our object looks like, but now we need to write these interfaces. So we'll go to the top and write export interface point. And a point has an X, which is a number, and a Y, which is also a number. And it's got a constructor function which takes a number and another number, returns of type point. We have another interface line, which takes, which has a point one of type point and a point two also of type point and a constructor Turns a line, and we also have this 
fraction, which has got a numerator type number and a denominator type number. Okay, so we've modeled the uh, aspects of our geometry um, object here. And now we declare var geometry in geometry dot main. Okay, what this says is you're declaring a, a var geometry like we did earlier. Whatever this is right here should be the same as this or whatever you're trying to model or convert over to TypeScript. Now you're saying M geometry, which is our module, we're going to make this equal to one of these interfaces. And we chose dot main because we've included everything in main and we're referencing these interfaces uh, that are also part of the module. And that's all you need to do in the declaration file. Now if we go back over to the main file, we need to reference the library. So we'll say reference path library.d.ts and the compilers go away. You can see if you tried to use different parameters, the type checking actually works. So this is the basics of writing a declaration file. Uh, there's a lot of subtleties to it, uh, just how you write it. You have a lot of leeway here. If you want to use global interfaces, uh, that's fine if you're if what you're basing it off of uh, has really unique names. For instance, point and line are very common. Other libraries might use this, so you don't really want to pollute the global namespace by putting interfaces in the global namespace. Um, so that's pretty much all you need to know to get started. Definitely check out the handbook. And if you're working with other um, JavaScript libraries, particularly popular ones, check out on GitHub, uh, definitely typed the repository there. This is going to have a lot of declaration files for very popular projects like Angular, Leaflet, uh, jQuery, Bootstrap. Uh, they've got hundreds of um, declaration files here for you to check out. So look at these to see how other people write their declaration files. Um, and check it out before you start writing your own. Make sure someone else hasn't written one already for the library you're trying to use. So that's pretty much all there is to know to get started. Thank you for watching.